We're on. We'll just let people tune in. <laughs> <sighs> just let them stare at my happy face. She's got a good face. Soak it in. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Saints TV. Just getting to the car now after our round 19 game against Melbourne. And I'm extremely, extremely happy. Uh, I was very nervous going into that last quarter. Um, Melbourne got eight points up and I just thought that this is the classic, you know, we played well for a lot of the game and I thought that we should have been further ahead. But um, to the boys' credit, that last 20 minutes, they stood up. That was huge, you know, the big time plays from Marshall, Billings with the goal, Hines goal at the end, Bruce stepping up. Membry kicking three or four, you know, it was just Langlands playing really well, Sinclair having over 20, Gresham stepping up when he needed to, Dunstan, uh, you know, you could name the whole team. They had, all of them had these big moments in the game where they could have gone the wrong way, they could have let Melbourne just walk it in and finish the game off, but to the boys' credit, they put the ball under their arms and they just kept playing fast, exciting football and and they never gave up. They always looked like they had, you know, they had the win in their eyes. They knew they weren't going to lose this game. And it was just so good to watch, especially that last 20 minutes. I, you know, I can forgive mistakes when I, I see the team trying to take the game on and trying to, trying to hurt the opposition. I can't forgive it when we're trying to play conser conservative. And for so much of this season, we've played conservative and we haven't looked like scoring Two weeks in a row under Brett Ratton, we've kicked over 100 points. When was the last time we've kicked 100 points two times in a row? You know, I can't, I couldn't name it. We've won two games in a row, both times kicking over 100 against the Bulldogs in Melbourne, who have been two teams that have been, you know, Bulldogs have been pretty good this season. Melbourne top four pretty much prospects this season and a very good year last year. So, and to their credit, you know, they played well last week against West Coast. Um, so they had good form coming into this. So it's a game that could have gone either way, but we just grew some balls and just played some super exciting football. So I'm, I'm very happy. And Jess, who is here but uh, not in screen, came to the game. She's been to one other game against West Coast this year and we lost her first win. Her favorite player is Membry, loves his tats. And Hunter Clark. <laughs> and Bruce. <laughs> and Bruce. She loves Bruce now. Everyone loves Bruce. But I just, yeah, um, it's, it's all around just an awesome night. So I'm so happy. And I just want to give uh, just shout out to um, Seb Ross, who has dealt with a lot of criticism this season. But tonight, I don't know what happened to him, but he was immense. He kicked two very important goals and he led from the front. Uh, he had some big plays in the middle of the ground where, you know, he looked like he was going to get tackled, but he just kind of shrugged them off. Someone says hi, Jess. Which is good. <laughs> hi. Yep, she says hi back. Um, and, and another is Hunter Clark. That passage through the middle of the ground where he, he took on, he just ran through a pack and then hit a player lace out and kicked a goal from it was incredible. And, you know, Carlisle had a bit of an up and down game, but I thought he was pretty stable down back with Nathan Brown and... Um, Nick Hind, super exciting. Jack Loney bobbing up when he needed to. Yeah, it's just, it's a game that I, I don't really see many faults. I just see a really united team. Rowan Marshall, um, again against Max Gorn, was an awesome battle. I think Gorn probably took the chocolates there, stats-wise, but I thought Marshall's last quarter was a big reason as to why we, we got hold of them and um, ran away with it in the end, which is great. We don't usually hear that, you know, when we say that we've run away with it, but we really had the momentum in that last quarter and we capitalised. We kicked goals from very gettable positions and we kicked goals from some pretty tight positions where, you know, a month ago we would have missed them. So, really happy with this win. Two in a row now. We play Adelaide in Adelaide next week and they just lost to Carlton today. So, it's a could be a very winnable game for us. And the funny thing is with this win, we're only one win and percentage out of the eight so if we win next week we're level on points with the eighth place team so going into the stretch of games after that we play Fremantle I think we play North oh, Fremantle we play Sydney uh, I think we play Carlton again there are some very winnable games there so we could really climb the ladder the way we're going and 
Uh, you don't know, you know, anything's possible, really. We might get Hanbury back next week. We might get Jack Stephen back next week. Josh Battle. Um, there's a number of players there that can come back in and make us an even stronger team. I might quickly go through some of these comments um, and see what you guys thought before I finish this off. There's a lot of that. Look at that smile. It's a pretty great smile. <laughs> um, Adam says, Severos really stepped up. Saints, ne Saints never gave up. Meeks has long kicked a really great goal. He did. He played a very good game. I think, you know, people were a bit angry that Parker got dropped for long, but long justified his position and... and, and you know, it was very important for that forward line. Sebros, brilliant, great, uh, brilliant, great win. We should have sacked Richo earlier in the year. <laughs> let's not, let's not hang too much shit on Richo. I think let's focus on now and what Ratten's doing with the team. Um, Leonis has loved it. Bruce and Ross were so awesome. Ross not butchering the ball as much. Lol. Um, Long played well. Not a lot of disposable. But played really well. Um, Rats has the group playing for him. It's a no-brainer to sign him up ASAP. Also, thoughts on Stephen requesting a trade to Geelong. I think if Stephen wants to go to Geelong, get it done. But I'm just, you know, I want to make sure that we get a good trade for him. Whether it's a first-round pick. If Kelly goes to Frio and Geelong get the first-round pick, I want to get something there. Or we get a, a midfielder or a par, like a Parfit or someone like that from Geelong as a as a player trade back. Um, We'll see what happens in the off-season. Sebros had his best uh, game of the season, except for one brain fade where he just watched Melbourne take an uncontested mark right in front of him. That's from Radley. Um, Liam says, Bruce is a jet. Love, love his determination. Charlie says, great team effort. Kicked over 100. Ratten should be our coach. Dave says, Loney was a little disappointing. He was a bit quieter, but he bobbed up with an important goal in that last quarter. Um, so that's all he can do. Daniel Sassana of the week. Ross had a great game. 31 disposals, 9 tackles and 2 goals. Excellent numbers. Um, Matthew says, If we beat Adelaide and Adelaide, which is very possible looking at that the state of that team, we're definitely a finals chance. Uh, only one game out of the 8 now, uh, which is awesome. Uh, who would have thought that, you know, a month ago? Um, Peters has reminded me of the first few rounds of the season. We have found that fight again and built on it. I agree, but also the first few rounds of the season, we didn't kick high scores. We're kicking high scores now. Um, Long was good. Uh, Bruce was amazing. I'm thinking Josh Bruce could, uh, could be a great captain. Um, a lot of talk about finals in this chat, so we're <laughs> clearly getting ahead of ourselves. You know, there's some big games coming up, so let's try and just, you know, back the boys in next week and see what happens. Um, Adam says, best game I've seen Sinclair play. Uh, cops a lot, but proved his hate is wrong. I agree. He lowered his eyes. His field kicking was on point today. Um, really impressed by him. Gresham was very good as well. Great game by him. Looking forward to making, uh, attending my only game of the year next week in Adelaide. Still... Uh, been over 10 years since I've attended a winning match. Wow, 10 years. And you just got one tonight. <laughs> um, watching Rat's press conference, he looks like a bloke who's invested in the team. Something makes me think he was going to be our coach all along. I know, it could have been in the works at the start of the season. Um, I love the way we are playing. It looks like they're working hard and having fun uh, doing it. Hind is a gun. Hind courage in the last quarter is a good sign for the future. And more tempo football from Christina. That's a very good point. At times, you know, we could go fast, but we didn't do it recklessly. Sometimes we slowed the game down and chipped it around, and chipped it around really well. We, we, we let up to the ball more than we usually do, and I think the delivery from midfield to forward has been the best it's ever been um, in the past couple of seasons. That's the one point um, under Richo we struggled with. We bombed it. Tonight, if I watch the replay, I feel like we didn't bomb it aimlessly we bombed it to a one-on-one -on -one, whether it was Bruce or Membry or Akers resting forward um, or we led up to the ball and I think most of Bruce's marks were lead-ups and he kicked goals from it because he led up central and it was an easy shot so um, overall guys I'm gonna cut it pretty short but bloody stoked I thought it was so happy two wins in a row after such a shit season it's good to see a turnaround like this and the you know that that little bit of faith that I've had in the team for this season, knowing that we've got the right players, but that we're not playing the right way, it's proving a little true. I think that the method is there now, and I think the nucleus of a very good team is there. If we can draft well, finish the season on a high note, maybe even sneak into the eight. Who knows what what can happen in the off season? Um, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks again for watching. Jess says, "Go Saints." Bye. Jess says, go Saints. Go Saints. There you go. Um, she exists. She's real. <laughs> um, and very happy about very the happy. result. Out of 10? 10. 10.
10. Out of 10, she says 10. Yeah. Before this, I asked her and she said 8.5. I don't want so she's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Like it, share the video, tag your Saints friends. Um, it's going to be a good week. This will be on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube after this as well. So if you want to listen to it again, why wouldn't you when I'm talking? You know, I listen to it all the time. So you guys should too. Um, yeah. Go Saints. See ya.